You are listening to 5-Minute Feng Shui, podcast episode 195, The Heavenly Six Star of Favor and Fortune. Welcome to the 5-Minute Feng Shui podcast, where each week I talk about how to move energy and make money. You'll learn how to create a prosperous home and an abundant life using classical Chinese Feng Shui. I'm your host, Katie Weber, publisher of the Red Lotus Letter Feng Shui Easing for Wealth. Each week, I'll cover Feng Shui topics that can help you improve your life, share inspiring stories, and always end with three easy to implement Feng Shui tips that you can put to work right away and usually in about five minutes. Now, let's get started on the five minutes that could change your life. Hey there, my feng shui friend. How are you doing today? I am doing great. It is a glorious afternoon. Fall is here. I am looking out the window and seeing some clouds on the horizon. So maybe we'll get a few showers. I'm hoping so anyway. Love looking around and seeing all the pumpkins everywhere. It's that time of year when all the Halloween stuff comes out, but I'm really more of a favor of that whole harvest theme. That is such good feng shui, I want you to know. So if you have not decorated your home with pumpkins, and of course, if you are living on the other side of the hemisphere, it's this is your spring. So it's going to be time for daffodils and spring flowers. And let me tell you, uh, if you have any kind of bulb flower, like a tulip or a daffodil, narcissus, uh, same thing, I guess, right? Anyhow, any kind of bulb flower is a wonderful symbol of amassed wealth. And so it's a really great um, symbol to have in your home. So maybe you can force some flowers, force some hyacinth. Oh, what smells more glorious than that. But up here on the Northern Hemisphere, we are going into the fall season and it is that whole harvest kind of time. Yesterday, it was, gosh, it was Thanksgiving. So in, in Canada, so happy Thanksgiving to all my Northern neighbors who are listening. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful day with your families and just feeling grateful, thankful, and full of wonderful foods uh, of the Thanksgiving holiday. We've got ours ahead of us here in the U.S. and in November, the end of November. That's always a holiday. Everybody loves. Why? You just eat. That's all there is to it. <laughs> you, of course, you got the whole cooking and cleaning, but that's no big. I love that, you know, but there's not shopping and wrapping and baking and <laughs> decorating around it. It's just have a good old time and have a great meal and be grateful for everything, all your blessings. And this is a blessings time of year. So whether you're in spring or you're in fall, get out all those wonderful symbols of spring and fall. And I want to mention to you how terrific all the fall decorations are in terms of what they do for you in, 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 in their symbolism. And this is one of the things I, I love about the fall is all the symbolism around it and the whole harvest theme, because this is a time when you are bringing in all of the, the harvest. Now we're not, you know, people who do, um, you know, mostly agricultural work anymore. We are not an agrarian society anymore. Now we're, we're thought workers and that kind of thing, but it still feels good to see all that beauty and abundance of, of, of the hay bales and the pumpkins and the candles and the gold tinged leaves. How gorgeous is that? And, you know, in, in the fall, this is a beautiful time to put out those mums. They're flowering everywhere. I've got gold mums in my backyard. So I look out my window, I see this flash of gold. I love it. And I've got some red mums. I've got the got the pumpkins out and have decorated in the kitchen. And this is a really great time to be pulling out all the stops. I love how uh, the fall feels, has that sort of richness about it. So if you're out there shopping, you see some beautiful chrysanthemums, get them because they are wonderful symbols for health and wealth. And in fact, the mum is considered one of the four noble plants along with bamboo and orchid and plum blossoms. And they've been cultivated in China for over 3,000 years, almost as long as feng shui. <laughs> but here's the cool thing. And this is what I love. I need to have more, 
more mums. Uh, the chrysanthemum is a symbol of long life and represents an easy retirement. Gosh, I'm ready for that. Tim and I are so ready. And I think we need to just, you know, plant mums everywhere. But, you know, it is also a good time to recognize all you've accomplished. Listen, we're getting to the end of the year, right? So no matter what season you're in, fall or spring, we are closing in on the end of 2022. Can you believe it? It's hard to imagine. I'm working on the year of the rabbit right now. And, uh, you know, I want you to be thinking and looking back and feeling good at all that you've done. It's been a busy year for me. I know it's been busy for you, but think about putting out some pumpkins and use a bunch of varieties. Uh, if you can put out those mums, pumpkins and, and, and gourds that, that are, you know, that look like bounty and, and plenty. Uh, the, uh, these are a beautiful symbol for successful children. It's also, uh, they represent the ability to manifest more wealth, be more prosperous and attract riches and family fortune. So don't carve it all up into a jack-o'-lantern just yet, but get some of those out there. Get those mums out there. Put out your bowls of fruit and gourds. It's a wonderful way to show abundance, prosperity, and 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 a, and representative of getting through ten months of the year. Right, we've got ten months in into the year, and it represents all you've done. And believe me, I know you've done a lot. It's been trying at times. There's been moments where things have been wonderful and some bright spots as always moments of simplicity and moments of joy and you should reward yourself by surrounding your home with those symbols that speak to the new blossoming of your springtime uh, if you're in the southern equator uh, and if you're in the northern hemisphere then show those beautiful nuts and gourds and beautiful apples and, and pears and pumpkins and reward yourself and and let it symbolize all that you have accomplished because you are incredible Okay, let's talk about the six star. Oh my goodness. This is a fun month for me. I decided I wanted to do something really fun. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to just focus on the, the nice stars, the ones that play well with others, the ones that are fun, that bring lots of joy, opportunity, favor, and we are talking today about the six star, the heavenly six star of favor and fortune. This is a star that I really love. It has been in its home location, like all the stars have been this year. And in this location, it is a, a perfect place for creating opportunities, especially for travel. Now, I have activated my six star area, which is the northwest corner. I activated mine with a conch shell. And let me tell you, it has been an amazing year of travel for me. One of the things I love to do is pack a bag and get on a plane. And because the six star was in its home location, I activated the northwest corner of our living room with a conch shell. I kept a, a globe. I have one of those sort of um, semi-precious stone globes. It's a small one, <laughs> but it's there. And it's working to get me a ticket to go to lots of fun places. And this year has been a busy one. We traveled to Venice for my birthday. We went to Germany. We went to Scotland, went to Ireland, and went to Amsterdam. It's been an on-the-go kind of year, and I love that. And this is one of the things that the Six Star is known for, is that sort of international aspect. And that's what I loved about activating it this year, because I love to get on a plane and go places. That is just one of the things that it feels so rewarding to me. And I know for probably you too. I mean, I, I, where is the person that does not want to travel or go anywhere? Most of the time we're all ready to get out of town, but let's, let's dive on in and let's talk about the six star and what all it can do for you besides travel. So, you know, it is, uh, in the pantheon of wonderful stars of the, they're called the white stars, the six star, along with the eight, the one and the four are your lucky stars. These are the stars that take you places, that bring people to you, that give you help, that bestow blessings. These are the stars that we want to activate. We do need to handle the affliction stars. We all know that. Okay, the five yellow, you can go away. Two star, you can go away too. But it's the white stars 
that bring all of the bounty that we're looking for. And this is why we need to activate them, find out where they are and give them uh, a jolt of electricity because <laughs> we need more good stuff, right? So let's talk about what the sixth star can do. Now, this is the star that can bestow favor. It can bring achievement, power, influence, authority, and best of all these attributes is windfalls. Favors, like someone that calls in a favor, maybe gets you that great upgrade <laughs> in your hotel room or gives you a free ticket or gives you a surprise check. I got one of those last weekend. Uh, a family member gave me a, a, a check I had not expected. And it was a very nice check and it had lots of zeros on it. And it was a very lovely thing to receive and completely unexpected. And this is what I'm talking about. These are the kinds of things that surprise you. And these are opportunities that just come and are laid at your feet. This is like the big cosmic shower of meteors that just rains down diamonds from the sky into your lap. Now, how wonderful is that? Can't you take, I, I just take a moment to just visualize that. <laughs> Yeah, that's the six star. Better still, though, this six star represents the energies of helpful people that bring assistance when you need them. And sometimes, like with my check, when you're not even expecting it. Now, let's talk about heaven people. Heaven people are those people that can uh, fix your flat tire. It could be a doctor, a lawyer, maybe your investment person, a mentor anyone of influence that can help you. It might be somebody that you know on LinkedIn who calls you up and says, hey, I've got just the job for you. It's perfect for you and you're perfect for it. That's what I want you to think about. That's what a six star when is activated does for you. It's kind of like a genie from the magic lamp, but except you don't have to <laughs> rub that lamp or do anything for that lamp, that, that genie just comes out. And, and that's what the six star is meant to do. Now, as I talked about, the home of the six star is the Northwest corner. And this is a corner that is ruled by big metal, by the number six, it also rules the head. Also the breadwinner of the family, if the breadwinner is a man. Now it doesn't uh, mean that women are left out of this. So I just want you to know it's, they are not. <laughs> the breadwinner can also be a woman, but that sector, if the woman's the breadwinner is ruled by the Southwest. Now, interestingly, speaking of women, like a great white sparkling diamond or a sparkling diamond in the sky, the sixth star is ruled by the planet Venus. Isn't that interesting? And Venus is the planet that's associated with beautiful, wonderful, lovely things, right? Everything that Venus is associated with is all about uh, wonder and beauty and having things nice. So maybe instead of staying at the regular hotel, you're staying at the really fancy schmancy hotel. That's what Venus does. Now, this is the planet that also rules attraction and relationships. So having this six star in the Northwest corner means meaningful and beneficial relationships can be formed, especially this year when it, because the six stars in the Northwest corner, especially with powerful men or people at a distance and for bringing you international opportunity. Now, I don't, I don't want to make this a gender thing. This is an energy about male energy and especially powerful male energy. And we need powerful male energy. Now, of course, we do have some very current <laughs> examples of powerful male energy that has gone way off course. And uh, we all know who that is. I'm not putting you on about it. Anyhow, this is also about that energy of people in position. So you may, could very well be that there is a woman that is in a powerful position. She's got that, that yang energy. And so I want you not to be thinking about male and female so much as gender, but more as yin and yang. It's a, it's just the difference between uh, male and female energy from an energetic standpoint, not from a gender one. Hope that makes some kind of sense. <laughs> Anyhow, but this is one of those things that when you activate this, you activate your energy for people 
worldwide. And that's the cool thing. I know I've got friends all over the world, friends I could, you know, call up and go visit or go see, and they can come see me. And this is one of those things that makes life really wonderful. The other thing that it helps with is maybe you, you need uh, some assistance from somebody. And this is somebody at, at a distance. It's amazing how this kind of energy will come to your aid, even if it's just somebody's got a flat tire at the end of the block. You you are bringing in a wonderful energy for help and assistance, whether it's small or it's on a very wide or global scale. Now, this is kind of what I would call the guardian angel energy. And this is why you think of that six star when you think about a guardian angel. We always want to think of energy that is beautiful and heavenly as the kind that comes from heaven, just like babies, right? <laughs> now, the six star is the star that does bring windfalls and good fortune and speculation, and it also helps the man of the house, but it also helps the woman in the house. So please don't feel like if you're a single woman that you need to disregard this corner. Heck no. We all need heaven people, whether they're male or female, whether they're nearby or they're across the world. We all need that heaven energy. So always make sure that you activate it. Even if you're quantum number, this isn't uh, a favorable direction for your call number, don't dismiss the Northwest corner. In fact, never dismiss any corner because it's not your, your favorite corner. Instead, just spend time in your favorite corners <laughs> and look in the directions that are more favorable for you, but don't dismiss. We need every single corner in, in feng shui to work for us because these are all those areas in life where we need help. And that Northwest sector represents the breadwinner, especially if it's a man that is making the most money in your home. And so men that are the principal wage earners are going to benefit from their heavenly influence. But again, men and women equally benefit from this star and it has opportunities in it. So if you want to have worldwide connections, if you have a website or you're working on a, a newspaper column or writing a book, or you want to go travel, where are you going to go? You want to look far afield. And this is the kind of energy that will help take you there. So this is kind of an interesting thing about the six star. The six star is also one of the stars that's associated with psychic visions, spirituality, and inspiration, like new business ideas or insights that you can profit from or take out on a global level. It's also the energy of armies and men who can raise them. And this is one of those energies that we have seen come full form this year, have we not? With the, the situation in Ukraine, it's a war. I mean, if no one wants, everyone, wants, we've called it all kinds of things, right? The, the conflict, the aggression, the situation, it's war. Come on, people, bombs are being sent, people are dying. It's a war. And this is one of those situations where we see that. But we've also seen, just as we've seen a Putin coming up, we've also seen other people coming to the fore. We've seen a worldwide response. And it's very interesting how, how years ago, it seemed like if something happened over there, it was way over there. Now it's like down the block, right? It feels that way. It's very interesting how, how worldly has now gotten very, very close. But this is something that we'll be seeing more of. I'm a little bit concerned because the five star is going to be moving to the Northwest corner. And that means more trouble, <laughs> especially from men who can cause it. Uh, Kim Jong-un, I'm talking to you. Anyhow, uh, this is one of those situations where I think we could see people behaving badly, behaving even more badly. I know that's great English, but yeah, I do think we could have that. But let's talk about the positives. When it comes to the six star, this is often someone in a position of power or a male presence many times who has that capacity to kind of lift you up or mentor you or open doors for you, make that call for you, put in an email and just smooths the way and, and makes things happen. Uh, this is someone that has prestige or power or authority, and they can bestow good fortune by taking notice of you, giving you a helping hand, or making those introductions that bring opportunities. It's amazing what a difference it makes when you 
foster your network. Uh, now let's talk about the downside of this twinkling star and that can be nervous strain, <laughs> a little overwork, maybe some headaches. And that is something that you do have to watch for. So if the six stars in your bedroom, maybe you need to take a little bit more time off, get some blue sheets on the bed, just kind of power down that six star a little bit. Cause when you're, if you're in the room, uh, that the six star is in, that would be your Northwest corner, or if it's at your front door, you might find that you're on the hamster wheel just a little too much. So that's just something to keep in mind that wherever the six star shows up in your bedroom or at your front door, just watch that tendency to get a little crazy and work too much or be too busy for busy sake. Sometimes you can just get kind of busy. So we don't want to do that. We want, you've got to have that nice balance, right? That feng shui balance. So if you want to though, boost your reputation, get the help of people who can help boost your reputation, help develop those international contacts, contacts with people who are in the position to help you along, then make sure you spend plenty of time in the sector that the six stars located for the year of the month and keep it activated and alive with some metal and some earth energy. I already told you I have one of those uh, semi-precious stone globes and that sits squarely in my Northwest corner. And it's a wonderful thing. I also have a China cabinet there that has all kinds of crystal in it and lots of crystal. I also put a conch shell in there and I attribute that conch shell to all my travel. So this is one of those things that I feel like is helpful for keeping my relationship close with Tim and that helps us travel and helps us keep that sort of global kind of connection with friends and, and people, uh, in, in workplaces all, all over the globe. So it's a really cool thing to do is to keep that activated. Now in 2022, as I mentioned, the six stars in the Northwest and that's its home corner. But next year in the year of the rabbit, the six stars going to move to the West, the sector of children. Now, my only concern there is that we might see a little bit more of a bump up in COVID with kids. We could also see a little bit more saber rattling from the West, maybe to counter some of the things that are going on in the East. And then in 2024, the six star flies to the Northeast corner. So this is where, and that, that, that's kind of the outlook of where it's going to be going. So now you have an idea of where it's headed. It'll be interesting to see what China does here in the, in, in 2024 with the six star flying to the Northeast. I'm, I'm very anxious to see how, what, what happens there. Now that is something that, that interests me. I love to see how the energies play out and how they work out on the world stage, on the investment stage, not just, you know, in my, my little corner in my house, but, um, hopefully you do too. It's something that I find very interesting and, and it's amazing how patterns work in, in energy. It just fascinates me. And I get just as surprised as everybody else when things happen just the way it said it was going to happen. So let's talk about some activators. In addition to the conch shell, let's talk about what you can do to promote the beneficial effects of the heavenly white star. And that is to add plenty of crystal elements, precious stones, a wealth bowl, crystal balls. You can add these wherever the six star flies to activate heavenly fortune and favor and windfall benefits to the Northwest corner or wherever the six star flies to. You can always add it to the, to the corner of the, the Northwest corner. Now that's something I do want you to be thinking about as we go into 2023, the five star is going to be going there. So probably not going to want to put a whole lot of crystals there. Instead, we're going to want to put more moving metal and anything metallic. This is the nice thing is the five star is going to lose a lot of its punch because it's an earth star and it's moving in 2023 into the Northwest, which is big metal. So that is going to kind of just take the wind out of its sails. At least I hope so. Knock wood, knock wood. But let's talk about the best six star activator. And for me, that's moving metal and one of the best Examples of moving metal is a chiming clock with real metal bells that ring in those heavenly blessings. It's remarkable uh, what they can do. I love having that there. And in 2023, 
this is a perfect time to get a wall clock that chimes and has bells. I think it's a beautiful sound in your home. It clears out stale energy. It activates the six star and it will deplete the five yellow that's coming in the year of the rabbit. Now, what else can you do for the six star? You can add six smooth crystal balls. These are wonderful enhancers for the six star because an arrangement of these crystal balls signifies the uniting of heaven and earth and imbues that Northwest corner of your home or the six star uh, with that auspicious energy that helps you leap ahead in the world of business and material attainments like possessions and, and wealth, but also with relationships. Because even though money is nice, relationships are the gateway to the money. I, I promise you, if you can work on activating the relationship energy in your home, that's the gateway to wealth. So always be thinking not just about money, but the but how do I get to the relationships that can help bring that that money that I'm looking for? Because you know, we all know it's like what they say in when it comes to looking for a job or making money, it's not it's not what you know, it's who you know, and it really is true. People help move things along. So those relationships are really important. You can also boost the six star with a statue of Quan Kong. And he's that big red faced guy with the big sword. He looks kind of menacing, but I love him. I love him because I feel like everybody needs a protector and I especially like him for women. Uh, I think it's a, it's a nice, a, a, a nice add to the Southwest corner or wherever negative energies are. I've got one just over my shoulder. He stands right behind me. He's my, he's my dude in charge. And I love having him there. He's got his big red face and he's got that big old sword. And it makes me feel like someone's got my back and I love it. So think about getting a Quan Kung uh, to put into your home anywhere in the, the Northwest corner. You can also put them uh, wherever there's other afflictions. So like the black two or the seven star, always a good idea to have a protector somewhere around. You can also use geodes. If you are a fan of rocks and crystals, get those geodes out and put that wherever the six star flies. You can also use Crystal bowls, beautiful crystal or porcelain bowls or vases, all of those things are absolutely perfect for the six star. So are images of powerful people, maps, images of planets or stars, and of course, gold and metal objects. All of them kick that six star into high gear, and that kicks your favor, your prestige, people who can help you, and sometimes windfalls in the in the in the form of a lovely check with lots of zeros. Alrighty there, we have another week of 5-Minute Feng Shui wrapping up, and we are talking about the fabulous heavenly six star of favor and fortune. It's the who you know star, and we all need to know somebody that can help move things along and bring about our wishes and help us create the kind of life that helps you move up the social ladder, move up in prestige, move up in maybe just the quality of hotel or the, the class of airline travel that you enjoy. This is all in that six star realm. Okay. Well, let me leave you with three really important tips. Always activate the six star wherever it flies it for the year or for the month. Do it with moving metal or earth elements. This will help give you a big boost. Tip number two, want to travel? Put a conch shell wherever the six star is and it will get your bags packed and get you up in the air and on the road to cool and wonderful places. Lastly, make sure that you activate the six star with some moving metal. Moving metal will help generate more opportunities for you on a wider scale and will help bring and draw people to you that can open doors, make introductions, and smooth the path. And we all need a nice, smooth and easy path, don't we? All right, have a great week. Get out those pumpkins, get out those daffodils and bulb flowers if you're in the Southern Hemisphere and activate your home for all the abundance that you've worked so hard for all this year. Have a great week. I'll talk to you on the next episode of 5-Minute Feng Shui. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of 5-Minute Feng Shui. If you did, please be sure to share this episode with your friends on social media and let's change the world one home at a time. For more Feng Shui information and inspiration, sign up for my free weekly Feng Shui e -zine. Just drop by redlotusletter.com to sign up and I'll be in your inbox every Wednesday. 
And if you like this episode, I'd love it if you left a review on iTunes. If you do, send me the screenshot of your review to katie at redlotusletter.com with iTunes review in the subject line. And I'll send you a free gift as my thank you. I'll see you next week on the next episode of 5-Minute Feng Shui.